Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Tuesday 23rd June 2020, Year 2 Maths. Today we're going to look at the first part of finding durations of time. Pause the video and please make sure you have your workbook, a pencil and a clock. Please download the worksheets from class charts or email. Write the short date at the top of the page, 23.6.20. Write the LI to find durations of time. Once you have finished your work, please send a photo of your work at year2 at grange.harrow.sch.uk. Right, let's go to the key vocabulary. Please repeat after me. Start time. End time. Duration. Time past. Hours. Minutes. O'clock. Okay, what we're going to look at is how much time has passed from the start to end time. Okay, looking at the clocks here, so the start time over here is 10 o'clock. The end time is 20 minutes past 10. Now what we need to look at is how much time has passed between 10 o'clock and 20 minutes past 10. So what we need to see is the minute hand was on 12, now it's gone on 4. So what we need to do is count in 5s from the starting point. So let's count in 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20. So the event was 20 minutes long. Okay, let's look at the um, start time over here. So it's 25 minutes past 8, and the end time is 22.9. So what we need to do is look at how much time has passed between those two uh, start and the end time. So the, start, uh, the minute hand was on 5, the minute hand has gone to 8. So let's count in 5s from 5. 5, 10, 15. So how long did the event last? It was 15 minutes. Okay, let's look at this uh, table here. Now the start time is 1 o'clock. The end time is 25 minutes past 1. So we can see in the red shader is showing us how much time has passed from start till the end. And uh, so we need to find out how, what was the duration. Now, duration means how long that event was or how long did it take, or from start to finish. Right, so let's look at, let's count, count with me. Let's count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So it took 25 minutes from start to finish. Okay, let's look at this time here. It's half past seven and it ends at 25 to eight. So the duration from, so looking at it, so the minute hand was on six, then it went on seven. So the, the duration was five minutes. Okay, the start time is 10 to four. And the end time is half past four. So let's look at where the minute hand is on. It's on 10. Where does it end up? On six. So you can see the red area. So it's going from 10 all the way round to six. So we're going to start from here counting in fives. Please count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So the duration was how long? 40 minutes. Okay, what I would like you to do is pause the video here and please make sure you have downloaded the worksheets from class charts or email. I would like you to complete the table uh, and you may use the clocks to help you. So the start time is 2 o'clock, end time is quarter past 2 or 15 minutes past 2 and in yellow is showing you how much time has passed 
and you write down the duration on there. Same for this, but for the last one, what you need to do is draw the clock hands. So five past two, and you need to uh, draw the end time as well, the clock hands, five to three, and then you need to draw the time past as well and find what the duration is. Please have a go at it. Right, let's have a look. So the first one, the duration time was 15 minutes. The second one was 20 minutes. So this last one, you can see the minute hand's on one, so that's five past. And the hour hand has just gone past two. Okay, looking at the end time, it's five minutes to three, so the minute hand's on 11. And the hour hand is go, coming on three. So you can see that the time passed would have been 50 minutes. Okay, what we need to do is if an event starts at four o'clock and finishes at 10 to five, how long did it last? So we've got three options here. Did it last for 45 minutes? Did it last for 50 minutes? Or did it last for 55 minutes? Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, I've got my clocks here, so it's 4 o'clock, and it ends at 10 to 5. So my minute hand's on 12 at the moment. This is going to go all the way around where the minute hand will end on 10. Okay, so what I'm going to do on my clock to show you. So you can see that's on 4 o'clock. Now I'm going to count in fives till my minute hand goes on 10. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So it was 15 minutes long. So the duration was 15 minutes. As you can see that the time is showing 10 minutes to 5. So was it 45 minutes, 15 minutes or 55 minutes? It was 15 minutes. Okay, right. If an event starts at quarter past 1 and finishes at 10 to 2. So... Quarter past one, my minute hand's on three, and my it's go, my minute hand's going to end up on ten. So it's going to go all the way around, and it's going to end up on ten. So how long did it last? Is it 35 minutes? Is it 40 minutes? Or is it 45 minutes? Right, let's have a look with my clock. Right, so my time is showing quarter past one here, and my I want to go all the way around where it's showing ten to ten minutes to two. So I'm going to count in fives. So count with me, please. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So the duration was thirty-five minutes long. How long did it last? 35 minutes. Right, what I would like you to do is pause the video here and please have a go at this activity on your worksheets or in your workbooks. Please have a go at it. Right, let's have a look. So if an event starts at 10 to 6 and finishes at quarter past 6, how long did it last? So how long did it last? 25 minutes. If we got that, well done. If an event starts at 25 to 12 and finishes at 5 past 12, how long did it last? If we got 30 minutes, well done. Okay, so... Now what I've got here is a reasoning question. So Jess says, a show starts at 10 past 3 and finishes at 10 to 4. This means the event lasted 50 minutes. Do you agree with Jess? 
So what I would like you to do is use your clocks and see if counting from 10 past 3 and finishing at 10 to 4, is it actually 50 minutes? If so, okay, so you would agree with Jess. If not, why not? Can you please explain your answer? Right, please have a go at this on your worksheet or in your workbook. So, right, let's have a look at with my clock. So the event was, um, which started at 10 past 3 and it finished at 10 to 4. Let's count in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Do we agree with Jess? No. So the event lasted 40 minutes. Okay, right. I've got this final question here. Now, Jess is going to swimming. She needs to be there by quarter past four. What time does each bus arrive? So you need to find out what time each bus arrives and then which bus should Jess take. So bus A leaves at 10 to 4 and lasts 30 minutes. Bus B leaves at 25 to 4 and lasts 35 minutes. And bus C leaves at 5 to 4 and lasts 20 minutes. Please work out what time does each bus arrive and then what you need to do is work out which bus should Jess take. Please have a go at it. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so bus A comes at 20 past 4, so arrives at 20 past 4. Bus B arrives at 10 past 4 and bus C arrives at quarter past 4. Now, question B is, which bus should Jess take? So she should take bus B, which arrives at 10 past 4. It's because she needs to be there by quarter past 4. The best bus to take is bus B. If you got that, well done. But what we need to do now is... Complete the rest of the activity on your worksheet or if you haven't got your worksheet, that's fine. You can complete this in your workbook. So you've got children's programs here. So these are the programs. You've got the start times, which are underneath the clock. So what you need to draw is draw the hands for the start times. Then you're given the length of the program and you need to... You're given the clock faces for the finishing time, but you need to draw the hands. What time does it finish? Please have a go at it. Once you have finished your work, please send a photo of your work at year 2 upgrangeharrowsch See you tomorrow. Bye.